Hello guys, welcome to Top 10 Mania. Today's video about making drop down window in Sketchware. As you can see, when I press the menu the drop down window is opening, and when I press it again, the window is gone. So without wasting time let's start the tutorial. So, let's start with a new project. First of all, add vertical scroll for scrolling purpose. And do all the work into it. And then, add linear rage for making drop down window menu. Now add two text views, and two image views. And name it anything. So we can identify it separately in logic. Now it is important to set same showing text into both text views, so one can be hidden and second one will be showing up, and second one is hidden and first one can be showing up. Now set images to the both image views. Also set unique name to the both image views. So we can identify it separately. Now we make drop down window. So add linear vertical, and add anything you want to show in drop down window. And also name it anything you want. Now we set on create activity logic. That means, this logic will initialized, when the app will launched. So, add set visible block for defining, the visibility of any objects. Now first of all set our drop down window linear, second text view and second image view to gone. Gone means, the object will be set to invisible, or hidden and not occupy any space in the page. Okay. Now add both text views in the logic, as a new event. Now we add logics to both text views. 
When first text view is pressed, set first text view and image view to gone, and set second text view and image view to visible. And also set our drop down linear window to visible. Now copy all the logic blocks, and paste into second text views logic. Now here do inverse, of the first text view logic. Like, when second text view is pressed, set second text view and image view to gone, and first text view and image view to visible, and also set drop down linear window to gone. Now here, set both text views size to 300 for better view. Now I run the project. And see what happens. As you can see, when I press the text view, the drop down linear window is appear, and when I press it again, the window is gone. But, here is a one problem, when I press the image view, there's nothing happens, so let's fix the issue. So now, set all the logics to the image view, which is applied to the text views respectively. Ok, I remove the web view, and place any button and check boxes. So you can see perfectly how it works. Ok, now I run the project and see the output. So now, the drop down window working perfectly without any issue. So, you can use this same method to implement, the vertical sliding window menu as you see. I hope you guys like the video. So, like the video if you like it, and for any query, write in comment section, and also subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos. So, see you next time and have a good day.